Choosing and switching engines has always been a hot topic. In the last time, Godot has been able to position itself even more after the Unity debacle. Today, I want to discuss the following question. Should you stop using Godot to make games? To do so, we will get deeper into the three most weakest points Godot has to help you make up your mind a little bit better. Now, let's get started. The first point are physics. There is no doubt that Grog has always been questioned about its efficiency in terms of physics engine. I even have a full video on this topic that I recently uploaded, performing super super accurate tests, demonstrating how indeed the physics engine in Grog, at least the default settings, are quite quite poor. Of course, you can always tweak these values and actually come to better and more performant results, but the idea of having a weak, uh, poor default physics engine, of course, is a point um, worth consider considering for uh, choosing your engine because there are other options out there whose physics engine by default comes with amazing settings that can actually lead you to better performance and better behaviors. Like literally, one of Groot founders is telling you start using YOLT right now if you want to have better physics. This is an actual tweet that you can go and check out uh, yourself. So indeed, even one of the Godot creators is being honest about the issue that currently Godot has. There are even some people that is saying that Juan already said that probably the physics engine for the future versions of Godot is basically going to be YOLT. I would say that right now it is impossible to keep saying on that the physics in Godot are amazing and that they work well because well indeed they do work well but they do need polish in the developers and in order to work correctly and as I already said YOLT for example by default provides amazing behaviors and an amazing performance without having to tweak any kind of value and of course other engines do the same thing as well they already have like in the basis amazing performance and behaviors. And in fact, one of the main advantages of using a game engine besides, for, for example, coding everything yourself without using this kind of software is the fact that it provides these tools um, such as a physics engine. Okay, so it should be working well without needing to be tweaking uh, things up. Two, lack of information. Now, I already know that there are amazing creators out there such as JD Quest, even Bracky is, is currently creating without content. And of course, the amount of information that is right now out there on the internet about Godot is just amazing and is even increasing in the last time. Also, Godot does provide, I would say, one of the best documentations in all game engines with even full um, guides on creating a com complete games in both 2D and 3D. And that is something that you don't usually get. But at the same time, I believe that they are putting so much effort in the documentation and putting so much effort on even creating full guides for complete projects in the documentation because they also acknowledge that there is currently a lack of information and lack of creators in Godot. If you take a look at tutorials in Godot, you will see that probably they don't have more of two or three years they're existing, whereas if you check tutorials on any other engine, you, you can even find tutorials for more than 10 years ago. And I'm telling you this because this, this is obvious that, of course, the Godot engine has much less journey than other engines that have been the industry standard or, or one of the most global engines for decades. Okay, So it, it, it is much difficult for Godot to position itself as uh, an engine that actually people will start using globally and that industries will use globally. And therefore, this affects the information that... That is how they are available for both beginners, intermediates, and even more advanced Godot developers. Of course, the more that you advance in game development, the less information you will need from external sources. But again, it is something that we just have to acknowledge that of course there is going to be less information about Godot if it has been existing for much, much less time than any other engine. Fortunately enough, we have creators, the creators that can have video quality that is just amazing and can actually teach outstanding things um, such as GD Quest and Brackies but well we can't like only rely on two three or four channels to have information for all the good old community it is impossible for them to keep on to this 
Of course, in the future, in the future months, in the future years, more and more information about Widows is going to be created. I would say that even more information about Widows is going to be created than information related to Unity, Unreal, or any other engine. Because it is the, the Widows is the engine that in the last time has had the most uh, has had the uh, most growing um, in all engines, okay? But well, the reality is that right now, at this exact precise moment, there is a lack of information that can't be uh, that you have to realize okay you may rely more on information you may rely less on information but the reality is just that one the following point i would like to discuss is basically the asset library i know that probably the asset library isn't something that you are going to be using literally all all the time you may not have used it just once probably but well the reality is that in, there are other softwares in which the asset library asset store or however it is called they can really provide amazing things for either um, interesting prices or literally for free and also the interface all here is a little bit more polished because you can find things much more easily i know that also in the last time they were trying to improve here the interfaces the usability everything in terms of the asset library also it's not that, that they can put so much effort in here because there isn't actually a super huge amount or even quality of uh, assets here. And also I understand that they don't have the same budget as, for example, Unity has to create this amazing user interface with super easy uh, usability for the user. And they also have much more amount of, of things here. See all the, all the sections that they have. But well, the point here is that, again, right now, quite related to lack of information. Of course, in the future, there is going to be more information as well as there are going to be more assets that could be showcased in the asset library but well right now we can see that the amount that we can compare here between the two main engines right now is just huge i mean that the two main engines that i am comparing over here or at least mentioning just by taking a look at the interface you can realize the obvious differences okay um and let's look something super super simple okay such as a 3d character controller you will find options for literally any kinds of thing with different things you can have here a ragdoll controller of course here the, the things you have to pay but well at least you do have the options oh well as you can see you have tons of pages and all the assets uh, to be honest do look quite good and you can even here sort and i can find 16 results for free okay maybe some of them aren't what i'm looking for but here i do have one um and i do have here other one um so indeed here the asset library does provide interesting things and let's do this exact same search but now in without and for example here as you can see i couldn't even find one okay because also here how this works like the search engine doesn't work that well um i may have to look something for like 3d movement no as you can see i can't even find what i'm looking for i may have to to search for so specific terms that it is so complicated to find literally anything uh, of course, you do have, for example, 3D tools, so maybe we would be able to find something there. But well, as you can see, it is much more complicated than in Unity, that with any search term that you that you look for, you are going to find uh, useful information. Not only on like templates or controllers or, or tools, um, but also in general assets. Okay, here, you probably already know this, but if you go to the 3D section, here you find tons of interesting assets, even you can see there over uh, 3,500 free assets that you can start using for a project right now and the quality of this, the amount of this is usually quite quite good just take a look at this uh, city over here and for example here um, in 3D, well these are tools but you, you can see I can't even sort by 3D assets or something like that because I understand that they, they, they don't even have that in mind probably to, to, to put here the, their assets um you do have interesting projects that is amazing but once again you can't they can they aren't even close okay and it is understandable without has a much a shorter journey in the market they don't have the same budget as unity have they don't have a community as huge as unity has to have here people looking forward to even give out for free give away for free their assets or even make you pay for them um but well it is again a disadvantage of using Godot that you have to acknowledge. So then here it comes the question, should you stop using Godot to make games? Basically, it is a decision that depends more on your needs and preferences and even more things than just the YouTube video that you saw. 
but well my my suggestion in general is that you acknowledge the three weak points uh, that I mentioned here of course there are still more weak points that could be mentioned as well as positive points advantages of using the without engine and see how much this affects you if you are looking forward to having a super stable physics engine if you are looking forward to always have lots of information out there on the internet and if you also want to have an asset library with massive assets and a large amount of them maybe yes you should you should reconsider your decision but well if if maybe these three points don't affect you really well or uh, really badly or if you want or if you think that you can deal with them somehow or whatever of course, glue out is, is still an option that is, is super, super worth considering right now, okay? And even more because it is open source and we know what things happened with Unity a couple of months ago. So yes, indeed, it is an engine that you can trust literally forever, okay? So yes, I think that the best thing here is to outweigh to try to see the overall picture of the pros and advantages of glue out and basically seeing if basically it would suit you if it would suit your preferences if it would suit uh, the things that you want to create and if so continue using it of course it's an amazing engine and if it doesn't suit your preferences what you want to create and now even more that you can consider these three points then you will see what is better for you so i hope this video has been helpful subscribe for more game development content and i will see you in the next one bye bye